Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's a story. I learned about this from Wild Bill for America, so thank you very much, Wild Bill. At any rate, I decided to uh, take a look at it. Uh, California State University at Northridge has settled a lawsuit brought by a former employee who said he was firing for sharing news of an archaeological discovery that spurred his young earth creationist beliefs. Now remember, I'm an agnostic, but I do support academic freedom, and California State University at Northridge does not support academic freedom, despite what they said. I'll show you that later. The university sent it sold for $399,000 $500 to avoid a protracted legal battle, but some scientists say the outcome has implications for how scientists critique creationist colleagues going forward. They fired him because he uh, talked about what he found. So that is bullshit. That is bullshit. Plaintiff Mark Ar Armitage managed Northridge Biology Department's Electron and Confocal Micros my cop my Propos key suite starting in twenty ten. In twenty twelve, during a dig in Montana's well known Hell Creek formation, he found a massive triceratops horn. Besides its own usually large size, Armitage found something more significant inside, soft tissue, which normally uh, decays away, but this didn't. While dinosaur soft tissue finds are not unprecedented, they're extremely rare because tissue simply doesn't preserve like the hard mineral parts, thick bones and uh, teeth that make up most fossils. Other scientists have offered explanations for the preservation of soft tissue that will fit within the scientific consensus on um, when the dinosaurs lived tens of millions of years ago, namely the presence of iron. Yet for Armitage, his discovery offered proof of his young earth creationist view. Because the tissue looked alive under a microscope because no soft tissue has ever been found on a triceratops horn up until that point. He believed the find to be just 4,000 years old, according to the suit. While paleontologists find the timeline off in just about every way, this kind of analysis that appears to those who take the Bible as a literal guide to world history. Uh... I don't go, by the way, with uh, 6,000 years business myself. However, this is about academic freedom, not uh, the dinosaur bones. Armitage published his findings in 2013 in Acta Histochemica, a peer-reviewed journal leaving out his interpretation of dinosaurs tissue age. When he engaged students, he was training in a Socratic dialogue about possible age of the horn, one of whom enthusiastically shared the conversation with a faculty member on, in the biology department according to the suit. The professor allegedly entered Armitage's office and said, we're not going to tolerate your religion in this department, which is typical. Uh, this college hates freedom. They hate, most of them do. They hate representative government. They hate religious freedom. They believe that you should be, you know, atheism should be the law of the land. That's what uh, colleges like, you know, California State University Northridge believe. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate Christianity. University argued two weeks after his article was published, 
after Armitage allegedly was excluded from a secret meeting of uh, my craft microscopy committee on which he served, Northridge fired Armitage. In the interim, Kyle told him he was subject to witch hunt, suggested that he resign according to the complaint. The university argued that it acted due to budgetary adjustments and the declining need for Armitage's services. He was a part-time temporary employee. Armitage charged religion religious discrimination and wrongful termination in his 2014 lawsuit, which it is. Armitage had previously written previously in support of creationism, including a 2008 book called Jesus is Like My Scanning Electron Microscope, A Scientist Looks at His Relationship with the creator in which he said Northridge was aware when it hired him. Yet he alleged that his <coughs> immediate colleagues and students were un largely unaware of his beliefs through 2012, and he praised, praised him highly for his job performance, even asked him to teach a full graduate course in micro microscopic imaging. Cal State Northridge said in an email statement that it is firmly committed to upholding academic freedom, free speech, and respect for all religious beliefs. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. You are a liar, liar, pants on fire. The statement noted that the court did not rule on the merits of Armitage's complaint and the settlement was voluntary, not in any indication of wrongdoing. The decision not to review Armitage's contract was based on budgetary considerations and dwindling need for his services, the university said. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Settling was about avoiding the costs associated with a protracted legal battle including manpower, time, and state dollars. The university spokesperson said a big chunk of the nearly $400,000 settlement would cover Armitage's legal fees. His attorney, Alan J. Reinach, executive director of the Church State Council, said some amount, amount of about 15 times his client's annual part-time Selling at Northridge. In other words, it's a significant. I'm going to cut it at this. Uh, these people are afraid of something. Tens of millions of years ago? No, it doesn't. So there's something else going on here. Well, it's just to crush religion as one of the monsters. The Christian religion. They'll stand up for Islam and its uh, many problems all day long. But they go after Christians. This is anti this is big time anti Christian bigotry on the part of this college. It's they are uh, an utter disgrace. I'm gonna address this college directly on that uh, point. California State University at Northridge, you are a disgrace to this country. You hate freedom. You hate representative government. You are an enemy of this country. You and your radical left-wing professors are enemies of this country. You and your radical left-wing uh, running staff uh, administration, you are a disgrace to this country. You have embarrassed this country with this. He never should have been fired like this just for, uh, you know, showing a scientific claim. This never should have happened. I'm glad you got sued. Don't send your kids to schools like this. Handpick where you send them. Find out 
You know, they have all these radical left-wing professors and administrations and so forth. Well, you never send them if they do. Most of them do. You got some good ones like Hillsdale College I've heard about. But these uh, communists, like the ones that run Cal State Northridge, are all through our society. I'm not the only one who's saying that. I'm just one of many saying that. I go on way over on this one. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.